Okay, so today I'm going to show you how how to make a ship sink, like, accurately. You know, here's my little Lusitini that sinks accurately. It sinks like this, which has a real Lusitini sink. I tried doing this with my Titanic, but it sank like that, so I was like, well, I could have actually done the Titanic. So I decided to do a Lusitini. Now, that rattling noise, I like to keep for, like, sinking, like, like all explosions in the world. I'm just doing the same work. So, you want, so the secret is coins. They're all on an angle for like that tipping. I even tried it like all on different angles. It still would tip over. So make sure like you have a strip that tipped over or capsized. Yeah, I guess the Poseidon wouldn't be actually that bad for this. But that is a secret. It sinks like his ass. Is and I said the Lusitini was perfect, because that's how it sank, actually. I had to downgrade my Titanic, basically. But that is how you make your Lego boat float very easily. I mean, Lego boat sink. <laughs> Once it actually did just sink like this, like the Poseidon did, where it would just hang upside down, then it sank almost identical to Poseidon, where it ended up rolling over. Sinking, bow down, I mean stern down, stern first, just like that. Pretty much just like the Poseidon did in Poseidon. So, so if this video was helpful, I'm just going to really open it up to show you like the amount of coins you'll need. Now one is actually in the stern as you can see. So you, you can see that it was used to be my Titanic. Because, look, it can split. But I had to make it loose to of how it sank. Uh, uh, um, guys, what in the world? Okay, back on topic. Yeah, but that's how you do it. You want to all make it, like, at the bow or stern. Unless, like, you just want it to be, like, capsized over. You can just put it like that. But Legos actually are very... Like defaultly sink capsized over, so it really doesn't ma that matter is that much. But thank you all for watching this. I'm just gonna break apart the walls for you to see it. And most of this stuff is wet since I tested it in water. So there's like kind of like a broken wall of you but hope you guys found this video helpful of like if you're wondering how to sink your own lego boat so please give this a thumbs up if it was helpful i think i said that like three times already but stay tuned for laterness and good bye oh and also i want to announce something very quickly after i some of this together. If you want to do this, make sure you have heavy and light together. Okay? I have most heavy in the, in the bow and um, some light in the stern just to give it like the right amount of sinking time. Because if it is all heavy, this pipe, how it would sink? If it's all some light heavy, this is probably how it would sink. And it is like how the Titanic sank pretty much without the splitting. He did it all light, it probably sink like it probably wouldn't actually sink. It might it might just like stop right there, possibly. Okay, but that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh the title will be by the way, how to make a Lego boat sink. See ya guys next time.